Hey guys, it's me, Mike. Welcome back to Unbox Warehouse. Now, spring is upon us and we have a lot of work to do here in the yard. Um, and it's a good way to keep your mind off of things during this pandemic right now. So it's really good to get outside, uh, social distance yourself and make sure you get a lot of stuff done around the house. So I'm super excited because Toro reached out to me and I guess they saw my video on the Ego electric lawnmower, which is one of my favorite things that I have. And they said they have a better mousetrap. This is a 22 inch 60 volt electric lawnmower with the personal pace system that everybody knows and loves from a brand that people can trust, Toro. Now what's crazy about Toro's is they've been in business for like over a hundred years and um, I think they made their first mower in like 1924 and it was the best selling model until 1961. That tells you something about a company when they can make a product that good that is that popular for that long and still to this day as I drive around and I see all these commercial mowers they're all using Toro. Everybody trusts Toro. It's just a great brand. So I'm super excited that they finally came out with an electric model because I've kind of gone electric and it's so convenient. It starts every time. I never have to get gas. Um, the power is there. This thing is amazing. So first off, we're gonna go over some specifications of the new 22 inch recycler 60 volt mower. And we're gonna talk about some things that I like, some things that maybe aren't the best that I like better on the Ego. I'm not gonna lie, Ego sent me that one, Toro sent me this one, so this is unbiased. I'm gonna say what I want and tell you which mower I actually like better. Now, I don't know if you guys saw my Ego mower review, but uh, it is a great product and I'm not really gonna bash that thing, but I don't wanna hurt my Ego. But a little friendly competition can't hurt, right? Um, I think Toro might have a winner on their hands and we're gonna go over some things that I love about this mower and some things I love maybe that they can improve on in future models. Now, first thing that you'll notice is when they're in the stowed position, they have a similar profile. They're a similar size. Um, the Ego is about two inches shorter. The Toro stands about 39 inches when it's, when it's on its end and the Ego is about 37 inches. But 39 inches when you don't even have a telescoping handle is very, very impressive. Um, the Toro has just one handle that folds up and the Ego it has to telescope out. So it's one extra step. The second thing is the Ego is all plastic. This is one of the biggest complaints on the internet is that this model is made of nothing but plastic and the Toro has a steel deck. This is the same steel deck that's on their recycler mowers that have a gas engine that people keep for like 20 years. This deck is not going anywhere. Super strong tried and true design. Now one thing I noticed when I flipped this thing up, but I never really had a problem with it, was the Ego has a very thin, kind of wimpy looking mower blade. Um, I was able to flex this thing with my fingers without a lot of pressure at all. So if you hit a stump, I'm sure it could just shred that blade to no end. But on the Toro, it has the same blade as on their gas mower. It's a super strong, thick blade. I can't bend this thing or flex it at all. So the Toro wins there hands down. It has a true mower blade and the Ego has kind of a wimpier looking flexible blade, plastic deck, you know. You see kind of where we're going with this. Now the blade length on the Toro is 21 and a half inches. Um, that's what they do. It's about a half inch short of the 22 inch deck that they say. And on the Ego, it is a 21 inch deck. So the blade's 20 and a half inches. So both of them have the half inch drop off of bl actual blade length compared to the deck size. Now the Ego battery that I have is a 56 volt 7.5 amp hour battery. And the model that I got from Toro 
is a 60 volt, so it more volts, but it only has a six amp hour battery. They do have one that costs about a hundred more dollars that does come with the 7.5 amp hour battery, but um, I don't really need that much size because this thing lasts about 45 minutes with me mowing grass, even with only six amp hours. So plenty of battery, but if you're got a really big yard or you're looking for that extra time, you can bump it up and buy the one with a 7.5 amp hour battery on the Toro also. And speaking of battery, all you people that are concerned about batteries, they give you a three year warranty on this battery. So if you ever have any problems with it, within three years, um, you can get a new battery, get it replaced. That's a good thing because these batteries aren't cheap. I think one of these batteries cost about 350 bucks. So it's a huge expense. Um, so you want these batteries to last as long as possible. And I've had the Ego one for a couple years and it's lasting just fine. And I assume that the Toro is going to be about the same because battery technology is pretty consistent across the board, across all brands. Now I do like that the Toro battery has a handle on it. It makes it really easy to pull in and out of the mower. And it also has this nice indicator here that tells you how much power is left. That was one of my big complaints on the Ego mower was you just have one light and it changes colors. Uh, when it gets down to 25%, it changes orange, but you don't really know how much battery you have left until you're at 25%. So thumbs up to Toro on their battery design. I think I give that one a win. Now Ego does win when it comes to the convenience of the height adjustment on the mower deck. Um, they have a one handle system. Now, yes, it's very easy, but I thought about it a little bit and I only kind of adjust that once. Once I get it set where I like it, I don't really touch it anymore. And uh, that's where it stays. So now I have more moving parts to break. It's kind of plasticky. It's got gears and linkages that make all the wheels work at the same time. Unlike the Toro mower, which has the tried and true mechanical adjustments on each wheel, it does range from one inch to four inches at one inch increments, but really easy to adjust. It's the same thing you've seen for the last 30, 40 years. I don't know, since I've seen a lawn mower, they've had adjustments like this. So obviously it works. So even though the convenience is there with the Ego, I think it's not that big a deal on the Toro because once you set it, you're probably gonna leave it there. Now the drive system on the Ego does take some getting used to. It's got this handle that you pull, you set your speed and you pull the handle and it takes off. Um, it works really well until you get up to something where you have to stop because you kind of have to time it just right. You gotta, I mean, if you don't let go of the handle, you could potentially ram it into a tree or run it over your prize flower bed. Um, and another thing that's really weird about that system is if you don't let go of the handle soon enough, um, you can't roll it backwards. It locks the wheels up. You have to roll it forward before the wheels will free spin and you can reverse it. So it's really weird and you have to get used to the timing on it. Unlike the Toro mower, the personal pace system goes as fast as you go. And when you stop, it stops. So it's very intuitive system um, that just works. Uh, it's, it's super simple, but it works. You'll never run into it. It always can go backwards. The wheels never lock up because it works off of a like a belt drive system um, that is the same one that's on all their recycler mowers. It's, it's, it's works different. So the Ego I think has its own electric motor. Now there is a benefit to that because the Ego can drive itself without the blade spinning. The Toro, the blades have to be spinning in order for it to pull, spin that belt and run the drive system. So when you're ready to put this thing up, um, the Ego, you can just drive it back to the shed and the Toro, you have to push it manually unless you want the blades to spin. Now it's a pretty good feature to be able to drive that thing right back up to the shed, but that's a luxury I'm willing to get over to have a more superior mowing experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the personal pace system and the drive system on the Toro the win on this category. Now the next thing is you have this handle here that can change from bagging to mulching. So if you want to bag, you put it right there and it goes into the bag. If you want to mulch, you put it right there and it starts mulching. You don't have to remove the bag. Unlike the Ego system, doesn't have a handle like that. You actually have to open it up and put in like a plug that plugs the hole so that it doesn't try to blow leaves and stuff into the bag. Um, it's a little bit janky. So I really do like this handle here because I don't have to remove the bag to switch to mulch. If I got a bunch of leaves, I can just switch it over 
on the fly. Great system. But speaking of the bags, one of the major things that I have a complaint with the Ego mower is they put this crossbar right here in the middle, which causes you to not be able to pull the bag in and out from in the handles. You have to drop it underneath and then lift it up and grab it again. The Toro is super easy. You have this huge gap and the bag can drop in and out of that gap and install in seconds. And when it's full of leaves, you don't want to have to drop it on the ground because then all the leaves spill out of the front. You just want to be able to lift it straight out through the top in between the handles and go dump it and reinstall it and be back mowing. So the Toro design on the bagging system is honestly far superior. And I noticed with that 60 volt mower that it actually pushes way more leaves into the bag. The bag becomes completely full and, and the leaves are just packed in there. Unlike the Ego, it kind of half fills the bag and then it starts getting jammed up. I think that just has to do with a superior blade and maybe a few more volts. Um, it's able to push that, you know, have more power to push those leaves into the bag. You can actually feel it when you're mowing, the difference between these. This one feels like a more powerful engine and mower. I feel like it's just really spun up and doing some extra work uh, over the Ego. Now you'll notice that all the cables are running on the outside of the bar here on the Toro mower. And you may not like that aesthetically, but I can tell you this is the way to do it because I don't know if you guys saw my other video, but my Ego mower actually broke and there was a short in these wires and they run all the wires up inside of that square tubing, which there was some kind of break in there because you're moving them, you're telescop they're telescoping, they're folding, they're pinching these wires and it messed up. With them all on the outside here, it protects them better, they don't get messed up, and if you do have to replace one, they're super easy to get to. So, thumbs up to Toro for just leaving it old school and putting the wires on the outside instead of trying to hide all this stuff for the electric mower. Another unique feature is you can plug your water hose right in here to clean the deck out. Now that seems a little counterintuitive to have an electric motor with a water hose plugged into it, but it is sealed. There's nothing that's gonna come up from the bottom and get in that engine. So if you plug your hose here, you can spray it out just like the regular recycler gas powered mowers. Great feature also. Okay, look, here's my final thoughts. Both of these are great mowers and I'm not gonna bash on one or the other, but um, I do think that the build quality and the material and the craftsmanship of a tried and true mower like the Recycler by Toro is, is just better. Um, the Ego works really well. It's kind of futuristic looking. It, it, it's a great design. It looks, it looks amazing, but it is all plastic. I did have a problem with my last one. It, it broke from all the wires being hidden. Um, I, I think, you know, and not to mention just Toro's been around forever. Like they know what they're doing. They're, they're basically a mower company that's making battery powered mowers versus a battery company that's making a, an electric mower, if that makes any sense. So I think uh, I'm going to put my ego aside and have it as a backup mower and start using the Toro because it's truly a superior experience. Um, what can I say? I guess I'm a Toro fan. So I promised you guys a little surprise about the next video that's coming up and it's a Toro product and it's gonna be super epic. Uh, it is this time cutter 50 inch zero turn and guess what? This whole thing is suspension. You haven't seen a zero turn like this. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you stay tuned, see what kind of summer time products and quarantine products we got coming up right here on Unbox Warehouse. You guys stay safe and wash your hands.